Hello and welcome back. Again, my name is Steven and I work for MisfitPixGallery.com. Today what I'm going to be showing you is the tools in Photoscape. So, open up Photoscape, <coughs> go into your editor, click on Tools, and right down at the bottom left corner, which is right around here, and select yourself an image. Now the first thing that I'm going to show you is the screen scroll, which is basically just this hand as a cursor and what you can do is that you can actually grab the photo and you can move it around to whatever you'd like to do with it. That's basically how that works. Red eye correction. With red eye correction what it does is it actually removes the red in the photo. So if you're using an SLR you're probably not going to be getting a lot of red eye. But if you're using just a handy digital camera that most people have um, usually you get a little bit of red eye when it comes to that. But just to show you what it, what it can actually do, because it, what it will do it is it will remove all of the red within the photo. So if I just select all what I see of the red, it'll all just disappear. Completely take it out. Just like that. So, next up is the mole removal. What this does is it actually removes moles and blemishes within photos. So if I zoom in, my model right here, she actually does have a mole on her chest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just select the area of where this mole is located and let go. And instantly, it gets removed. You're not completely limited to just moles. What else you can do with it is you can actually like remove some shadows. So if I just go over this a couple of times, the shadow has disappeared. This doesn't work exactly 100% on the first try, just because what it is is it actually is trying to figure out all of the pixels in the surrounding area so that it can give a color balance. Now if I just look around for any more types of blemishes, like your example, there's like what I think is a bruise on her knee, I can just take that out really quickly. Just like that. So you're not completely limited to what this mole remover can do, but it can help you out on like perfecting your photos. So just gonna go undo on all. Mosaic is pretty cool because what you can do is all it does is when you select an area you actually can uh, distort the area that you have decided to overlap. So if I just decided to select her entire shoulder, there you go. It's completely distorted just like that. And it doesn't have to be low. It can be also on middle and also on high. So that's how that would look. However, this you can also use a jitter on it. So if I were just to select the entire photo, just like that, the entire photo will be jittered from what I have selected. Next up is using the color picker. What the color picker does is that if you click around, you can start picking all of the colors that are just in that area. So with this, it really works very well when you have like per se spots. So I'm going to show you a couple of spots that are on my wall right here. So if I were to use my color picker really closely to the area that I'm actually trying to remove, I can pick my color, then click on paintbrush. I can select my sizes of what my paintbrushes are going to be. And then just use them to fix the area. Again, with this area right here, just go back to the color picker, go really, really close to it, and you've selected your color. And just like that, it's gone. So if I bring my screen down just a little bit, right there, and push undo, my spots will return. The clone stamp is a... Uh, 
a tool that I'm going to actually make a second video for, so stay tuned for the clone stamp. The effects brush. The effects brush, you have so many different ways that you can actually use this. Um, basically, if you select your effect brush and then select a higher brush, I'm going to use a big brush like this. And what are we on? Grayscale. So everything that I paint will actually turn to a grayscale. So if I were just to cover out her face and her hair. I have made just her face and her hair the grayscale. And you're not limited to grayscale. You've got all sorts of different ones. So I'm going to reverse black and white this. So this is just basically uh, I'm using the negative file on a paintbrush. And then you can freely paint wherever you want to paint. Just like that. You can also use this for editing tools like uh, darken and deepening. Let's go darken really high. And then I'm going to just paint over top of her face like this. And then what it does is it actually darkens it just the way that I want it to be. What else you can do with it is you can also like blur things as well. So there you go. I've learned a lot. That's basically how you use these tools. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, again, my name is Steven. I work for MisfitPixGallery.com. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please leave them below, uh, down below or on my forums. is misfitpixgallery.com slash forums. I'll be happy to help you out.